Hey, what's up guys, it's Tech Infusion, and today I'm going to be showing you how to create this liquid text animation inside of After Effects. Let's jump right in. All right, so first off, you're going to want to create a new composition. I'm just going to name mine liquid animation, and then you can set the resolution to whatever you want, and the frame rate I recommend being 30 frames or 60 frames per second. All right, now that you have your composition, let's go up to the toolbar here and grab the text tool. Just left click anywhere in your composition and begin typing out the text that you want the liquid animation to fill. I'm just going to type liquid for this tutorial. Once you have your text layer, just go ahead and adjust the size and font to the desired look. Make sure that you align your text in the middle of your composition using the align window. If you don't see this window, you can go up to window in the top menu bar and select align. All right, now make sure that you deselect your text layer and then let's go back up to the toolbar and select the rectangle tool. Make sure that you disable the stroke if it is enabled already, and then you also wanna change your fill color to the first color that you wanna use for this effect. You'll probably be needing about three colors, so for my first color here, I'm just gonna choose a dark blue. Once those settings are changed, go ahead and just click and drag on your composition and make sure that you draw a rectangle that covers your entire text layer kind of like what I just did right there. So now that you have your first rectangle drawn, let's go to the effects and presets window. If you don't see this window, go up to the menu bar to window and then select effects and presets. And then in that effects and presets window, just search for turbulent displace. Just click and drag that effect to your layer to apply it. Now in the effects controls window, we're just gonna be changing some of these settings over here to make it seem more like a wave. I'm just gonna change the amount a little bit and the size as well and then also just tweak the complexity here. I'm basically just trying to achieve a wave look on this rectangle, so you can do whatever looks right to you here. All right, now that our rectangle looks like this, we're gonna actually need to animate this so that the waves are moving. To do this, we can use a simple expression. Hover over the stopwatch next to evolution in the effects controls window and holding alt or option on your keyboard, just click on the stopwatch. Now you see down in your timeline that you have a little box that you can enter an expression. Here you'll just wanna type time, multiplied by 100. Now when I go to play it back, you'll see that the waves are actually moving now. And that's exactly what we wanted here. So now with your rectangle selected, just go ahead and press P on your keyboard and this will open up the position parameter for this layer. At about two seconds on my timeline, I'm going to create a keyframe for position by clicking on the stopwatch right next to it. Then I'm going to bring my playhead to the beginning of my timeline and adjust the Y value of position until the rectangle is below my text layer. Once you have all that done, just select your shape layer and press Ctrl or Command D on your keyboard and press that twice so that you have now three shape layers that are duplicated. Now let's go ahead and offset these shape layers in the timeline by five to 10 frames to give it more variation. And then that way we'll make sure that each wave comes in after the other. Now go ahead and change the second and third shape layer to the other two colors that you wanted for this effect. I'm just gonna be doing a blue color scheme. So my blues are going to be gradually getting lighter. Perfect, and this is exactly what you want it to look like here. Now, as I scrub through my timeline here, you'll see that all the waves are doing the exact same thing, and that's because we duplicated the layer. But let's go ahead and fix this by selecting our second wave, and then here we can just mess around with the offset, and this will actually offset the wave to look different from the first one. I'm also gonna mess with things like size and complexity to try to just give it some more variation to the animation. Once all those settings are dialed in for each one of those shape layers, go ahead and select all of those shape layers and press U on the keyboard to open up all the position keyframes for each layer. I'm just gonna select all three of these right keyframes here and then press F9 on my keyboard to easy ease them. Next, keeping these keyframes selected, let's go into the graph editor by clicking on this icon right here. Now, if you don't see the graph that looks like this, you might have to right click on an empty space and click edit speed graph. But once you do get to a graph that looks like this, let's just move these right handles over here to the left a little bit. And essentially what I'm doing here is I'm telling the animation to start off faster and then gradually slow down as it progresses. Once your graph looks something like this, we're just gonna go ahead and close out of the graph editor, pressing that same icon. Now make sure that all three of your layers are selected again and right click on them and pre-compose them. I'm just gonna name this composition waves. Now click and drag your text layer above this new waves composition. In the composition panel, you'll have this track mat column. If you don't, you're gonna to wanna to right click on this top bar up here, go down to columns and enable the modes column. But essentially you're going to want to set the track mat for this waves composition to use an alpha mat from our text layer. That way these waves will actually fill the text in. Now that the waves are filling our text, let's play it back from the beginning and see what we think. 
Now from here, if you wanted to go in and adjust some of the settings for the wave effect or adjust timing with the keyframes, you can go ahead and just open up that waves composition. But if you're happy with the way it looks, we're just going to add a background layer to our composition and then a few details like bubbles rising to kind of give it more of a liquid feel. Right click any blank space in your composition panel and select new and solid. I'm going to name this layer BG for background and then let's set a super dark blue color for our background here. Just make sure that that background layer is below the waves composition in your timeline. All right, now select your text layer and your waves composition and pre-compose those and call it something like text wave. Now duplicate that text wave composition by pressing Control or Command D on your keyboard. What we're going to do now is create an alpha map for our bubbles so that we can tell all the bubbles to stay within the text. To do this, we're going to need to convert this animation to black and white so that we can use it as an alpha map. With that top composition selected, just go to the effects and presets window and search for black and white. You can apply it by just double clicking on that effect. Now go into the effects controls window and find the color channels you're using and just drag them all the way up so that it makes it full white. You want it to look something like that. Now go down to your composition panel, create a new solid, let's call this bubbles, and you'll want to make sure that this is white or whatever the color is that you want your bubbles to be. Now let's go back over to the effects and presets window and search for CC bubbles. And then again, you can just double click to apply that. Now going back over to the effect controls window, I'm just gonna make some adjustments like bubble size. And I'm also gonna change the shading type to none. So this is just a solid bubble, it kind of fits the style more. I'm gonna increase the bubble amount by quite a bit just so that I make sure that there's a lot of bubbles within our text. Now in your composition panel, drag that bubbles layer below the first text wave composition and then set the track mat on bubbles to that alpha mat of that top text wave composition. What we're doing here was very similar to what we did with the text and putting the waves inside of that. We're just making sure that the bubbles stay within the text and don't go outside of it. And that'll give us a more realistic liquid feel. So now let's play it back and see what the overall result looks like. I'm going to make some minor tweaks to the bubbles, just increase the amount and make them even a little bit smaller. Another thing you could do is also decrease the opacity of these bubbles so that it kind of just blends in with the color scheme that you're going with. To do this, just press T on your keyboard with the layer selected, and then you can just adjust this opacity parameter. And just like that, you have a liquid text animation inside of After Effects. It's really simple to do, and it also looks really cool if that's the style you're going for in your video. But anyways, that's all for this video, guys. I hope you enjoyed it. And if you did, please remember to leave a like. And don't forget to comment, subscribe, and hit that bell icon so you don't miss more videos like this. I hope you have a great rest of your day. And until next time, guys, peace out.